Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so uh, I'm going to teach you how to mine efficiently with drones in the game The Crust. Uh, this is a really fun game, by the way. I'm going to be doing some more content on that. And I'm also going to show you how to mine out a massive area like this before you even getting started into the game. Like, get yourself ultimately prepped to play this game. So... If we look at our drones here, like I'm like six months into the game and I've mined all this out and I haven't continued past this point right now. So I think this is like the, the best thing to do for starting your, your game in the crust. And then um, for some reason, if there's a bug, um, the priorities aren't really showing up. So this is why like you're not really seeing the different colors of priorities right now. So as they mine, I only got five miners. And another thing that this game does too, which is really inefficient with your miner, with your your drones, is they work in circles. So as you can see, there's a full circle here, and they won't mine it. They won't come back and pick any of this up until this side is exactly like that, and then they're gonna work out in a circle and constantly go pick up the stuff. And that's why working with drones in a large area is very inefficient and in that you should do like strip mining. So like, I really wish that the uh, priorities would, uh, would change and uh, I could show you that, uh, what I mean. But uh, as you can see, they're just going straight across. So you have like three different levels of priorities. You got like, um, uh, what is it there? A red, which you can set for priority, a high. And then you got like an orange, a yellow, and then the green. And like the orange is the high, yellow is the medium, and green is low priority. So for some reason, like it's showing all this stuff. Probably because I've been mining for so bloody long and I've cleared out this entire area. But it gives you a chance to check out your map. And like I said, every map is procedural generated so you don't know where all your stuff is going to be so having this opportunity to just go by and you know and just do mining you, you'll be fine and then this might break every once in a while but don't fix it don't because you're not using the bricks you, you're you don't need them at the moment right like you're just wasting your iron if you're going to go and do that and as you can see right now, I've already filled up this one here, here full of 4,000 regolith, and I'm working on another one. So that's just to save my drone some time later on of picking all of this crap up. And then, how much are these anyways? Um, oh, they're kind of expensive. Oops. Uh, 10 steel, bricks. But I do have that. I just don't have the 10 steel. So I would get screwed on not being able to make a third one. So yeah, um, so if you don't repair this, and then when you look at your surface, well, as long as you are just using this to recharge, you're not putting any stress on your your buildings and they don't seem to degrade. Like the, the repairs on them are extremely slow because you're not stressing the system out. So you could run this for quite a while because really I think it's just to repair this is silicone, right? And then like once you run out of silicone, you could just send one miner on here just or your miners on here temporarily just to build up some silicone in here, right? and then to fix all your stuff and then go back to mining because as long as you don't fill up both of these requirements you can mine to your heart's content so really the only one that you're going to have to get on to eventually with your miners is this one to make some silicone and then you can have like the ultimate start so now they're going up here and i can go to the next area so just to, if you want to like set yourself up so you're using the cameras use your uh q and e key and then when you go over you just hold the uh, what was it there oops your aws and e and then you can just mine it out like that and then go back and touch it up and then you can make a nice perfect square and then they're just going to keep mining like this back and forth and then your drones are just going to keep picking everything up and this is like the most efficient way to start this game it's time consuming but you're saving yourself a super big headache later on because you're going to have this massive area like mined out and you're going to know where all your stuff is. Like just by looking at it, you know, this is iron. 
you know this is silicone like and those are the only ones i've found so far and it's crazy because the rare earth usually there's rare earth like elements all over the place that you can't mine and so far i've been like super lucky like these guys are just mining out regolith and i'm gonna have this massive area but if all of these are farther away you know like it it's gonna hard, be harder for uh for a production line but it'll, it'll look good in the end i think but uh this is the map i think i'm gonna use or well uh just to uh practice on and then um i'll end up starting uh let's play on this but anyways hope you enjoyed the video everybody and i uh, hope this is really helpful because uh <laughs> this is like a huge time saver so peace take care